Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Just in case if you're new here, my name is Dave. May the Schwartz be with you. To my returning subscribers, both new and old, welcome back guys. So today I want to do a little bit different video. Normally it's watches and other kind of topics, but um, some people have pointed out, you know, this little guy down here uh, have made comments about him and I figured I'd introduce you to Milo and then I'll do another video someday with my other dog, Millie. But today will be all about Milo. And this guy is my little partner in crime. He's always uh, attached to my hip and follow me around. Um, so I will introduce him shortly. But before we get to that, for my watch guys out there, let's do a wristwatch check. So this is the Lucian Picard watch that I have. Automatic, no date, which is fitting because we don't know what day it is anyway. Uh, but I did a review on this watch. You can check it out up here. I threw a different strap on it. So this is a chocolate brown crocodile leather that I have on here. Um, really nice, you know, in my opinion, goes good with the gray tones and the, the blue. So let's go ahead and get into it. But I was scared and didn't know what to do. I'll admit it, I was scared. I love the drugs, but the drugs didn't care. All right, so this is Milo. Milo is two years old. Um, we got him as a puppy from one of my wife's coworkers, had an unexpected litter. And so she was trying to get rid of the puppies. Obviously, she couldn't take all of them. And so uh, my wife, you know, we talked about it and decided, you know, all right, let's give it a shot. This guy was only like less than two months old when we got him. Real tiny little thing. Um, and if I showed, I'll show you pictures and video of him and you wouldn't think he was the same dog. This guy was all like black and gray when he was a puppy. I mean like black. And after he got his first haircut, <laughs> it never came back black. It's like gray, dark gray and white, but never, <laughs> he'll never look like that again, I guess. Um, he is a Chorky, I guess, Chihuahua and Yorkie mix, but he also has like Bichon or Maltese, one of those kind of breeds because his hair is real fine. Um, he doesn't shed and he has to be groomed. And so this guy is high maintenance because of that. Um, but I like that he doesn't shed, that's kind of cool. Um, he is, let's see. So just a little story when we first got him, this is how little my wife and I know about um, having puppies around. But the first night we got him, he slept fine. Everything was good. My other dog, Millie, who's much older, or, you know, like five years, four or five years older than him. Um, at the time, she was real gentle with him. Um, she could tell that he was a puppy, obviously. And so the first night, he uh, did good. And then the second night, we had his little room set up in the bathroom right next to our master bedroom. And we put his blankets, he had a little crate, he had water, food, toys, everything, a little stuffed animal, everything you could think of. And that second night, he just cried and cried and cried and cried. And then he finally fell asleep after all the crying. So we fell asleep. And then he woke up and cried and cried and fell asleep and then woke up and cried the whole night pretty much like non-stop just crying we none of us slept and it was awful <laughs> and so i was talking to my sister and i'm like hey um what's up like she, she's had she's bred her dog before and i was like hey what's up with this puppy you know he just cries all night and she's like well where do you have him i was like in the bathroom in his own little thing she's like dude like they all bundle up together as puppies, you know, near the mama dog. And like, you just put him in a cold bathroom. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh shoot. So luckily she had this like heating lamp um, from when she bred her dog and we borrowed it and we set it up and we put him in the bedroom and, you know, figured if he has an accident, we'll, we'll take care of it. And we put this little heating lamp on the third night and he just slept nice and quiet, just like this, nice and quiet. So we learned a lot that first week um, I was working overnights and so we had to get him trained and he was having accidents, you know, just puppy stuff. Like, of course, um, I almost did it. We almost didn't make it. I almost didn't keep him after like two weeks. I was ready to give him back, but I'm glad we uh, made it through that kind of growing pains there and getting adjusted and we've been blessed. He is really good. Um, you know, he's still a pup. He's, he's two years old right now. So this is as big as he'll get six pounds. This guy right here. Uh, <laughs> so this is as big as he's gonna get and um, he loves to play especially with Millie he always wants to go outside and play um, and he's a uh, yap yeah, well you know the good thing is we got really lucky with both of our dogs they're not barkers they don't you know just sit there and bark at every little thing um, they do if someone's at the door or whatever but they don't just bark randomly. He doesn't chew on shoes or furniture. Um, you know, he's just been a really good dog. And he's a funny little guy. So in the mornings, 
Every time we wake up, he does what we call wheelies. And before he goes outside, he just spins and spins and spins. And he's like knocked himself into furniture and the walls. And like he just goes crazy doing these little wheelie things, uh, which is really funny. And he, um, he always likes to act like he's real tough, real big guy, even though he's super tiny. Uh, but everywhere we go, he's a little crowd pleaser. Everyone really likes him. He's super soft. He has to be you know, brushed pretty often. And unfortunately, he probably won't get groomed for who knows how long because of everything that's going on right now. All right, guys, so that's my little video for you introducing Milo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like Milo and this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, as always, to my new subscribers, thanks for joining. Just a little reminder that I am doing my giveaway. So once we hit 500 subscribers, we'll do the drawing. And that's for a Triple Tree watch box or a $50 gift card, either Amazon or whatever website you want. Um, and so that's coming up once we hit 500. So make sure you um, see my other video where I did my announcement, like, share, and then comment on that. So you have a chance to win if you haven't done that yet. Um, and just share with as many people as you'd like that you think would be interested. And I will look forward to seeing you guys at the next one. Stay safe. Take care. Let me go.